Right, <laughs> well, I don't know what is going on today. If you are, if you were just watching my live, for some reason, it just completely cut out on me. So if you are managing to come back on, I will wait for just a moment to see if you are able to come back on again. And we will continue with the live today. So this is part two. Um, we'll start again. So I'll see who's here live. I don't know what's going on today. Um, so I, I was actually on a live earlier with someone else and that cut off as well. So I don't know what's going on. If you are here again live, please do pop a um, hello in the comments if you are back again and um, let me know that you are here. And I was actually just going to go and do an Instagram live as well. So <laughs> if this one cuts out again, I think I'll just bomb it and go straight on to Instagram. So if you are here live, do pop a hey in the comments again. So hey, Laura, you're back. Yay, gosh, don't know what was going on there. Not sure what's going on. So it just completely cut out. Um, and I, I was just going to try and find some of the comments, but I dare not look at them now because in case I go again. So, okay, where we were at, where we were at is that, you know, your day, when you're starting off, um, I think it's about to say that um, it's actually good to feel good. But often we are, <laughs> yeah, Blooming Tech, often we are, we sabotage our own success. We, you know, we just actually... Um, we don't like feeling good and if we start feeling good then something else can happen to actually stop us doing that. So when we wake up in the morning we've got two ways of going. We've got the unintentional way where you know this is the bit where we're perhaps sabotaging our ability to create our day on the way we want it. Where we you know we literally start off how we don't want to go on you know, we might pick up our phone, we might start scrolling Facebook, we might kind of gulp breakfast down in, in, in a rush and we're literally starting the day on the back foot. Um, whereas the actual intentional way is creating the day that we want it to do. And actually, if you can have an evening routine as well, so that you're waking up refreshed and have a clean slate of, you know, in front of you for the day, that's even better to do that. So as I was saying previously on the live that cut out, um, I learned the hard way that I used to wake up early and then I was straight um, on the computer, on my phone, on social media, often before five o'clock in the morning. And I was starting in a push state by doing that. So I've now built up some really solid practices that I start off my day the way I want it to go. I start with positive affirmations. And I, you know, the ones that I use for me are things like I work less and I earn more. Um, I serve, I deserve is another one of mine. Um, I'm open to receiving abundance. My day unfolds with ease and grace. Or I love money and money loves me. And, you know, I think I would encourage you to start off with some of the affirmations that work for you. So it's, you know, if you, with affirmations, it's great to have the ones that you're tuned into, you're tuned into there. And I, um, you know, I, I also then go on to saying, um, you know, what is my, like my gratitude list? And I almost can say this as my appreciation list. So this is about appreciating everything that is working for me right now and showing gratitude for what I already have. Because often what we do, and again, this is part of the whole sabotaging bit of not allowing ourselves to be in flow and enjoy the journey, that often what we do, instead of focusing um, on being appreciative of what I have already got, all of the money that I've got, the house that I've got, you know, the family around me and appreciating and showing gratitude for everything I've got, often what people do is focus on the goals or their targets or money particularly that they haven't got yet and this is bringing you know this is them focusing on lack and that brings more lack to you so I will always spend you know part of my morning routine is appreciating everything that I've got 
and I set my intention for how I will make the day great. So I'm starting off thinking about, well, how do I want my day to pan out? And I'm always saying thank you for this magnificent day. And then I outline the actions that I will take too. And I'm allowing myself to dream and visualize who I want to become. And I bring those possibilities and opportunities to me. So actually, just as a little bit of self promo, uh, you know, here, because I am so excited about these, my fabulous journals have arrived this week. So these are my journals that I've created that will be on sale this week. And so they have outlined in them, in here, I've got my evening, um, morning routine, morning ritual, and my evening rituals. There are actually outlined in here. Um, I've got a weekly review page, so I can review every week. Um, I've got a, um, which is a, a, another a, a, there. I do a, I've got a brain dumps um, section, and I've got a morning route. Um, sorry, a monthly quantum leap routine as well. So this is my twelve week, a twelve week journal um, that I've created that is allowing me, so if we look at the morning routine here, it allows me to do my positive affirmations. It allows me to write down what I'm grateful of and how I'm going to make um, it great. You'll be able to buy it from me, Laura. Um, I'm going to be putting them out um, this afternoon um, for, yay, I know they're fabulous. I've been using it myself for a few months. Um, and then I thought, God, you know, I think other people would love to have these as well. So I do, you've got, I've got it all designed and popped together. So there will be a post this afternoon of how you can get one of those. Um, but yeah, it allows you to actually then set your day up exactly how you want it to do. So again, on the what if bit in your morning routine, instead of thinking about, well, what if this happens and it's the bad thing? You know, what if, oh, what if I can't make that... Um, you know, get those clients today, you know, and you're thinking of the bad things and the negative. I have it as a possibility of thinking, you know, what if I, what if I sell eight places today? It's setting your intention of what you want rather than what you don't want. Because, you know, that's all along the line, lines of creating our life as we want it and enjoying the journey. Because one of the things that I have really found is that one of the biggest blocks that I see all the time is that people do not allow themselves to feel good, to allow ourselves to feel joy and happiness. Um, and, um, you know, I think we often, and, and please pop in the comments if this, is re if this resonates with you, but we're often so... We get lost along the way in our pursuit of all of the things that we kind of want, all of those goals, all of those, the external you know, sources, you know, our objectives. Like I said, money's a big one. We, we often get so focused on that we, you know, the money side, that it, it, it's actually coming from a place of lack. We're almost needing it. We're desperate for it. We get desperate to get those clients. And that comes from a place of fear. Instead of enjoying life, enjoying the journey. Um, you know, we are, if I asked you now, how many of you feel a little bit as if, you know, this is like you're on a treadmill and that we're driven by fear rather than enjoying, enjoying it all. So just let me know. And what maybe, what are you afraid of? What is it that you're scared of? Um, with that. I'm just going to take a quick sip of um, my drinks. I've had a bit of a sore throat today, um, but I think it's all the talking I've done this week. I've done loads of talking. So let me know how many of you are driven by fear? You know, um, because often it's when you are, you, you know, you feel scared. You're feeling scared and feeling scared becomes the norm. And it comes, you know, it's to protect you from any disappointment and hurt that you might have if something then doesn't, you know, work out. And fear takes 
many, many forms. You know, it can show up as anxiety, as defensiveness, as comparing yourself, um, that shiny object syndrome, and any other self-sabotages. And this is all about pushing. It's pushing, pushing, pushing. It's all about need and desperation rather than being aligned and being in flow and trusting yourself because all of you are fabulous ladies. So trusting in your own abilities and allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to actually feel good along the way because we've almost become addicted to fear. We've so become so used to it being there that we then actually don't trust that things can be good. So we're, we're almost programmed to think that if something good happens, then it's going to follow with something bad. And, you know, this is, again, this is all coming from a place of experience. I've, be, I've been there. I've been there where um, I will say things like, um, oh, um, I'll do this when I feel like this. Um, uh, you know, I will be, um, so, you know, if I have a good month, if I had, you know, I had a really great month, then I'd almost be self-sabotaging myself and saying, oh, well, I've had a, a good month now, next month not going to be so good. Or, I, you know, I, I might say, oh, you know, January is usually a really quiet month for me. So you, you, you set yourself up you set yourself up to fail with these beliefs and these stories. You know, that something's too good to be true. It, things like that don't happen to me. You know, it can't be that easy. You know, that we punish ourselves then. And we, we believe, we often believe, and again, this is one that I work on, is, yep, self-sabotage. That, you know, we've got to work really hard to succeed. That we can't allow it to be easy and that was one of the big shifts for me a massive massive shift for me um, because I was brought up uh, you know uh, with people saying that you've got to work hard you've got to work hard for a living and the big transition of being in my corporate world to the online world and and actually running coaching programs that I'm so hugely passionate about um, and, you know, with my NLP trainings that I see the transformation in ladies, it's, you know, and I get so passionate about it that I think that it can't come to me easily. I've got to work really hard at it. But, and that's the shift that I've made. I've made that shift. And I can tell you, once you make that shift, when you let go of the resistance and know that it's okay to feel great, and you can allow this to happen, that's when your true desires come to you naturally. Because all the other stuff, all of those fears, all of those limiting beliefs, when you're self-sabotaging, it's coming from a place of lack and resistance. You will be one of those ladies. You absolutely will, because yes, you are on the um, NLP training program, and I can't wait. I'm so excited because I just get really excited about it because it, it really is transformational stuff. It so is. Um, and you know, the thing is, I'm coming from a place I've been there. I've been there and I know. So I struggled with all of this stuff. It's the stuff that I struggled with. Um, and I generally, you know, genuinely believed that you had to keep pushing harder and working harder. I really did believe that. I don't anymore. I certainly don't anymore. And for all the ladies that are coming on my programmes, it that's what's going to happen for you too. This stuff can be easy. It really can. The point is that fear can have a really big hold on us. It can have a really big hold on us and it can be harder to break. And we spend so much time, so much time, almost being stuck in the, the past and anticipating the future that we forget to live in the present. We forget to just get on with what we can get on with right now and enjoy it, enjoy it, the journey. You know, I love what I do now. But it took a while to do that because I've had all of this stuff 
And I was fighting against, I was fighting against myself. You know, we often create these limitations, these blocks and these stories. And they're normally linked to the past or they can be linked to the future where we're only focusing on things that we want and, you know, the money and, you know, and stuff like that. And it, again, that comes from that place of lack. Um, and so often what we do, we, we you know, we, we say to ourselves, um, you know, we can't, the, the, these blocks are actually holding us back. And we, um, we play safe. We play safe and we let that fear take hold of us. So we're often spending so much time on focusing on what we don't want to happen. And this is all unconscious stuff. We don't consciously say that, you know, I don't want that to happen. You know, it's when we're not aligned. It's when we are not aligned. And one of the things that NLP does is consciously and unconsciously brings you together. It aligns you. So that, you know, um, we don't spend time focusing on all those limiting beliefs, all of those self-sabotages. Because the more we actually focus on the things that we don't want, we focus on our blocks, the bigger they get and the more that they hold us back. So what we focus on expands. You know, what we focus on expands. And basically you've got a choice. You've got a choice, you know, because you can choose how you respond. We can't control what happens to us. We can't control that. But we can decide on how we respond. And that's what makes all the difference. Just like we can create our morning routine and we can, con you know, we ca are in control of our, how our day goes, we've got that choice. We've got that choice. Um, and that's what we want to be um, focusing on. We've got that, we have to make that decision today. Oh no, absolutely. Um, see you later, Laura. Nice to see you. So we've got to decide today to stop feeling bad, of feeling that you're not worthy, of you know, of feeling not worthy that you can have what you want, to earn the money that you want, that everything is a struggle. We've got to break those programs, those patterns that we continually run. And acknowledge that fear is not the enemy, really isn't the enemy. So choose to focus on what you want. And um, I'm going to give you a, some, a couple of quick NLP, very um, small little snippets today for you to take away with. So the first one is um, an NLP process for an area that you may, be fo you may be struggling on right now. So I want you to actually now think of the reverse of that. So think of an area of your life where, you know, um, you've had that desired feeling that, um, you know, you, there's something that you want to have. Um, so maybe it's something like um, confidence or being organized or feeling relaxed, for instance, because that was the one that, that I can give some um, experience of. You know, for me, I was all about push, 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 push um, and causing more chaos in a way. So actually, if you can think of a time now where a time in the past maybe where you were or you know organized or confident or relaxed whichever the desired feeling is that you would want so um like i said think of something where it's either from your past or is it an image of you in the future or even if it's someone that displays that characteristic that you would like to for yourself so if there is someone that you know really has a lot of confidence then think of that. So if you can't think of memory for yourself, think of how you might want to feel. And then I want you to now completely embody that sensation. So if it's a memory of when you were really relaxed or really organized or really confident, I want you to really take yourself back to that place. If it's something that you're creating, I want you to imagine exactly what it looks like. What do you say to yourself when you're that person? How do you wanna feel? And it's really, really important here that you focus on circumstances that make you feel really good. And when you're really in tune with what you really, really, how you really wanna feel as that person, 
I want you to pinch together your finger and thumb and really get all of those sensations flooding through you. Feel that confident, that organised or relaxed person. How are you there? Take yourself back to that memory or that vision of how you want to be and keep embodying that sensation. Pinch together your finger and thumb and then let go. You've got to think it to feel it. You've got to think it to feel it. Every time you want that sensation again, I want you to pinch together your finger and thumb and let those feelings really flood through you. So again, like I said, you've got to think it to feel it. If you're thinking about a time then you were loved, you know, if you loved what you were doing and you were really happy and you were confident and happy doing it, then think about that time. And when you're fully in touch with all of the feelings of that, pinch together your finger and thumb. You know, I want you to also remind yourself that it's safe to reflect back on what you want and to feel good. So if you had times when you felt amazing, do that technique, take yourself back to it. The more and more you do it, the more and more that you are programming your mind to think those good feelings and know that it's okay to have those good feelings. And I want you to be thinking about changing your words and your thoughts. It takes up so much more energy to focus on the negative than the positive. And who is listening to that anyway? It's only you, it's only yourself that's doing that. And we think, and what we think we become, we become our actions. So I want you to change your negative to the positive. No more, I can't, I want you to change it to I can. You know, think of your, your book here. You know, think of all of the what if possibilities. What if I was hugely successful? Change your, 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 your words. So no more don'ts, shoulds, buts or tries. You know, actually shift that, that thinking. And I want you to say this out loud. It's a really, really good thing to say out loud. I release all the blocks and I trust that what I want to achieve will come to me, will come at the right time in the right way. And really say that with meaning. Really mentally picture your blocks disappearing. You know, or floating into thin air, or, you know, in smoke or whatever. And just say these things, say the positive things as many times so that you no longer have the, any of the bad things, the bad thoughts about the block. Keep on doing that. As you've got to actually train your brain you've got to train your brain to you know to stop focusing on that bad make that decision you're not going to focus on the bad you're focusing on what you do want you gotta break that cycle of negative thinking so i am launching my next nlp practitioner and coaching program it will be coming out over the next week uh, I'll be le releasing all the details. If you are an ambitious female that you are looking to transform your life and learn some life transforming techniques, um, if you want to become a coach and mentor, or if you are already a coach and you're looking to add some powerful transformational techniques to your belt, then drop me a message for further information. Um, there is a special offer for those that sign up right now. Now, this one that I'm talking about is a live event. A live event! <laughs> ah, yes, we actually get back together live. So this is a live training. It's six days of live training split up in two modules of intensive NLP training that leads to three qualifications. So you will come out with NLP practitioner, NLP coach, and timeline therapy at a practitioner level. Um, so all of the details are on my website, but I will be popping a post out so that you can actually sign up with an offer at the moment. There is a, there's going to be an offer for you to join up right now. So that will be taking place in May, um, May and June. So beginning of June, um, sort of end of uh, um, May, so that we can be live. So if you are wanting information right now, 
or you want information about my journals, please do drop me a message and I will get back to you. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Sorry about the 10 minutes delay at the start where we lost connection on Facebook. I really hope you've enjoyed today's live. Please do let me know what your biggest ahas were. And, you know, we, um, I would love, I love to hear from you. Um, have a fabulous day and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.